So these are the three um, three inventors that or researchers and scientists that were actively um, looking into uh, the electromagnetic field and were responsible for the creation of generators and C motors uh, that, that we see today. Um, and it all started with Faraday uh, and his uh, discovery uh, with his uh, device called the homopolar generator. And so Michael Faraday, born in 1791 to 1867, was an English chemist, physicist, uh, who studied the magnetic field around a conductor carrying DC current. And he established the basis for the magnetic field concept in physics. He discovered electromagnetic induction, di diamagnetism, and the laws of electrolysis. Um, now, Michael Faraday, he also did an experiment in December 26, 1831, where he co-rotated a magnet with a copper disc and measured uh, current output. Uh, uh, he had done this experiment, and his own law of induction tended to ignore uh, that, that fact, um, main, meaning he didn't know that he'd be able to generate a current having rotated uh, both the copper disk and the magnet. You know, he wasn't expecting that. Uh, so over the past 150 years, there have been uh, debates, at least in the science and engineering uh, communities, about how what exactly happens with this experiment. Um, but it can't be properly ex explained. Um, but later on, there, uh, there was a design that was, uh, that was embraced um, by the world, which was a two-piece induction generator. Um, but this particular version of the generator, which is kind of like our ancestor to the DC, the DC motor with the commutators, uh, has uh, frictional mechanical losses. So, but that's what's been used. Uh, so let's, let's back it up then. a little bit. Um, our ancestor to the DC motor with the commutators. Yes. Right. So I don't know what that means. Yeah. Oh, so the commutators. Right? Yeah, so let's yes. just break that. I mean, I do, but I didn't before I Sorry. met you. So let's yeah, well, let's. Uh, so what does that mean? So commutators are just uh, there's they're, they're, they're switches um, on mechanical switches on the shaft and on the stator of a piece of an electric DC motor. Um, when the spinning part, the rotor spins, it it touches and and disconnect connects and disconnects from the stator. And this is called a commutator. It basically controls the on and off of the current as this thing is spinning. Yes. Yes. So. And this is like, these are like the, the fundamental basics of how electricity works. Yes. yes. Right? 